right, coach? You guys came out here. There was a lot of expectations, a lot of expectations for this game between with this matchup. You knowing the coach going back for so long, you know, just talk to me about your team and how they came out so, you know, poised and capitalized on the early turnovers. Yeah, I, we, you know, we had a, you know, a plan on defense that I thought we executed really well to stop the run early. And then we were able to, you know, kind of convert that fourth and 18 or 19, um, which led to our first score. And I think that kind of took the wind out of their sails a little bit. We get the fumble on the kickoff. We punched that one in. Um, and then from there, it was kind of like everything went our way and nothing went well for them. Yeah. And what does it say about you guys, you know, making that long trip here? Because that is, that is a long drive. Well, that, that was part of the plan, you know. When it's week seven, there aren't a lot of people that are open who aren't in league. Um, so when I heard that they were open, and I know what a great job Brian has done with his kids. I see him every summer at the seven on seven tournaments and how competitive they are. Mm -hmm. um, that was kind of the goal was to get like a, a road. Uh, challenging game. I knew it was going to be a brutal commute here. I remember coaching the Aganis game before I left Swamp Scott here and having to commute in the summer from Milton to uh, to Lynn here, and it was tough. And that's exactly what it was tonight. It was hard getting here, but I thought our, you know, we had talked about it during the week, and, I, and it, it didn't bother our kids, even though like our whole pregame routine is a little bit shortened and everything. But yeah, and just lastly, just talk about the playoffs is looming. They're just a couple of weeks away from playoffs. You know, you guys got senior night next week. You know, just really right. hoping these guys, you guys take from this game that will help them carry over to the next game well, and to the postseason. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing is to continue to build. And I thought, you know, we, we did some things really well tonight. Um, the second thing that, you know, was to handle travel. I mean, we're hoping to be a high seed. We were five coming into this week, which would mean one home game. And hopefully if we play well next week and win that one, we'd be in the top four and have the chance for two home games before it goes neutral. Um, but, you know, we're building experience every week. We, you know, we only had three, you know, really three and a half starters back on offense and three back on defense this year. So our kids have gotten stronger um, every week. And uh, like I said, we executed the game plan well. We, and we got the interception and a couple of the fumbles. And, we, you know, one of them we caused from behind, which is something we've been talking about and working on. So. Um, it's just great to see them all play well and for all the kids that made the trip to get into the game. Definitely. Congratulations on the win. Thank you.